Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Jen Joy Plans. Today I have a plan with me in my main recollections planner using this really cute wildflower kit from Sugar Pop Fizz. I'm obsessed with this, like how this turned out. I did color block it, which I feel like I have just mastered using the Sugar Pop Fizz mini kit and color blocking. It's It like ends up working out perfectly for number of boxes and then I don't feel wasteful for having a bunch of extra and yeah, it just is like the best feeling. So that is how I do it. Um, for Sugar Pop Fizz, I choose my colors kind of based on off of the um there's three colors that come with a square box and then the one color that doesn't come with a square box that's going to be my Thursday color so um that's kind of how I have to do it for the mini kit and it it ends up working out because I always love the colors that Sugar Pop Fizz uses she always picks personally in my personal opinion like the best colors and um for this kit, I ended up doing pink, green, purple, and then just one day of the blue, which is a little sad because I did love that blue and I wish I could have used it more, but I was able to pull in the extras on the sidebar, so I do feel like it, it got like represented somehow, some way kind of thing. Um, but I will apologize in advance if you can hear in my voice. I know you've probably hear, heard me say this for the past couple um, voiceovers, but I'm kind of caught in a pickle of I need to like upload. I kind of took a little break, but I don't want to get too far behind because I do have stuff filmed and I do want to post on YouTube, but I'm also going out of town next weekend. So I like don't want to wait for, I don't know, like I'm, I'm sick in this in-between time where I'm trying to get ahead. So bear with me. Um, hopefully it doesn't bug you too much, but I apologize a little bit for my voice. Um, but I did pair this kit with the floral daisy um, crest press bundle. I originally, foil bundle in gold. I originally was going to use this foil bundle with a different kit. And I was going to make it a printable. And I just could not get that printable kit to work. I tried so many times. My husband was like just forget it like it was causing so much frustration and to the point where like I couldn't like I was gonna buy the art from Crest Press as a backup and I could not even do that because I couldn't even stand looking at the art anymore <laughs> which is so tragic because it was such a cute kit and such cute art but nonetheless I reshuffled because I really wanted to use these this foil bundle and I reshuffled it and used it with this week and I think it works perfectly. So for the rest of this voiceover I thought it would be fun to answer some spring tag questions and I was gonna look up some myself but then I saw that Anna from Cafe with Anna posted a plan with me this week for her Easter spread and she listed some spring tag questions so I'm just gonna use her questions so thank you so much Anna if you're watching this video for the questions you saved me from researching so thank you um it's always fun to hear like I just watched her video and it's fun to hear her answers and yeah so anyways question number one what's your favorite spring nail polish I am a baby pink no 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 not pink whoa I can't believe I just said that baby blue nail polish lover like baby blue periwinkle like that kind of color that's my jam. I will typically wear that like year long on my toes or my fingers, but um, especially in the spring and summer, that's like on my fingers pretty much every other rotation. Like I'll do like a fun color and then I'll go back to the baby blue and then fun color and then baby blue. So that is my nail polish color of choice. I'm not a pink polish person. That's why I immediately had to retract that. I don't know why that word came out of my mouth. Um, yeah, I don't do pink nails. I don't do red nails. Well, I take that back. I will do like a bright, there's like this really cute shade of like bright pink purple that I like, but other than that, no pink, no red, minimal orange. I pretty much stick to blues and purples and I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I do some colors. 
Okay, I should just move on to the next question because I'm just rambling. Okay, question number two. What's your must-have lip color this spring? I don't wear any lip products, so pass. Three, what's your favorite, or show us your favorite spring dress. Ooh, I have gotten so casual over the years, so I have not, like, really bought dresses in a really long time. Just, like, teaching five-year-olds, the dresses are either too long which, like, they need to be for modesty reasons. I get that. But then they get, like, stuck over your knees. And then, like, when you're, like, you're bending down so much that, like, it gets, like I said, it gets stuck over your knees. And then it kind of does a little bunch thing. And then it's like, whoop, you know, well, maybe, maybe flash alert. I mean, I always wear something underneath. But I just don't like risking and having to deal with that moment. And... I also, yeah, like I would rather wear jeans on a hot day at work than a skirt or a dress, but that's just me. However, next year I cannot wear jeans except for Fridays, so I will be living in skirts and dresses and I'm going to have to change that. Um, so yeah, I don't really have a favorite spring dress. Question number four, what's your favorite flower? That's a really hard one. Some flowers are definitely my favorites. However, I love orange. So like any orange flowers, um, pretty much any pretty flowers though. Like I do love, um, like Gerber daisies are really pretty. I'm not really good with my flowers, but there's this really pretty orange flower. I don't know. I'm like I said, I'm not good at flowers, but yeah, those anything really. Anytime I get flowers, I'm like, oh, for me, what? Uh, question number five, favorite spring scarf accessory. I don't really have one of those either. Maybe headbands. I love headbands. Um, there's like always really fun ones at Target that I almost always pick up like a new one. But yeah, I love headbands. Question number six, what spring trends are you most excited for? Honestly, I'm so bad with trends, which is comical because I used to work at like retail, like the mall all growing up and like I was super into fashion and blah, blah, blah. And then now as I've gotten older and older, I just like don't even care. Um, maybe it's just also part of my job as like a teacher. Like, I don't know, like I feel like I dress cute, but I'm, I'm not sure if I'm up with the trends as much. Um, so, yeah, I don't I honestly don't even know. Question number seven, favorite spring candle. I don't have a spring candle because I don't really light many candles. However, I will tell you my favorite wax, and that is Lemon Pound Cake by Fantasy Wax Melt. So good. So perfect for spring. I just love that lemon scent. So, so good. If you have not tried it, I highly recommend it. Question number eight, favorite body spray perfume in the spring. I don't really have one in particular, so question number nine, are you a spring cleaner? Really, really want to be. At my core, I really, really want to be, but I am not. I wish I had the urge to clean more than I do. I, it's like comical, like my husband always laughs at this. He's like, I would have never thought when we first met that you are, that you hate cleaning because first glance at me, you think I'm like, type A, super organized, like I have this planner, um, like my classroom's really organized, like a lot of things in my life are really organized, really put together, like my plans, all that stuff, but then like behind the scenes, like real me, no, I hate cleaning, it is the worst, I still will do it, but I just like, ugh, it, yeah, it's seriously the worst, so I kind of put it off a little bit. And question number 10, do you have any plans for spring break? Sadly, that already happened. Or an upcoming vacation. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to Palm Springs-ish area in a couple weeks to visit my friend. Actually, not in a couple weeks. That's like next week. Um, and yeah, that will be super fun. So I'm excited to see some sunshine because we have had really blah weather here where I live so I'm excited to see sunshine and excited to see her and meet her baby and just yeah get a break so that is kind of fun plans for spring and that is it for that spring tag um 
I guess I didn't make it very far on my plan with me. Maybe I talked fast. Maybe I didn't. I guess I skipped a couple questions. But um, you can see I did pull in these full boxes that I had extra of, that tall box girl. And then the quote box, like couch from Friday. On, on Friday, I mean. And that was from the, was it called the Fleur Kit or something? It was art from Slee Studio that came out last year. And I used it last spring, but I got, um, so I had that like couch, it was a double box scene and I didn't want it as a double box scene. So I kept half the couch and then I got the girls in a fashion grab bag and I just thought the colors matched really well. And I think that fashion girl is really gorgeous. So I am really happy that I was able to kind of frank and plan those in. Then I put the April showers bring May flowers quote over that box um, just to kind of help blend it in maybe a little bit more and I thought it was fitting because I put it for Earth Day and um, since Friday was Earth Day and you know all the things that grow on our beautiful earth it was fun to talk about Earth Day this week at school and then our school like our kindergarten team has a tradition that we always watch the Lorax with our classes on um earth day to just kind of promote and let them see an example kind of of earth day and like how to how to not treat the earth how to treat the earth that kind of thing it's it's really cute the kids love it the music is adorable and plus every teacher especially elementary like this kindergarten age it is so nice to just put on a movie for once and you get an hour and a half where you do minimal monitoring. I mean like monitoring, but like I had time to organize my bookshelf and like do some other organizing projects, be on my computer. And they were just like laughing at the screen and I don't know, it was really cute. They were pretty it was adorable. So it was kind of a win-win because it was just a good precious moment. Got a little peace and quiet, got some stuff done. It makes me sound like an awful teacher, but like, I guess if you're a mom or a teacher yourself, like, you know what I'm talking about. You know, you, you kind of need those moments of peace. So that was a nice way to end the week on Friday. Although then um, Saturday, I kind of woke up sick. So that wasn't fun. But other than that, where we are um we're alive and thriving. This week though, just in general, like I said, it it was kind of a blah week. Like the kids were pretty rowdy at school and I ended up telling my staff about me moving schools and that went over pretty well. Telling my teammate was the hardest and she took it like decent, but then she's since telling her she's made some like really kind of backhanded comments so that's been kind of interesting to have um like the fallout of telling people this news of me leaving next year and just a lot of people now like they're talking about next year school for next year and they're just like well it doesn't bother you. like it doesn't pertain to you so it doesn't matter you can leave this conversation it's like geez okay like I'm fine with leaving but people are just very blunt like now that they know that I'm not going to be here next year it's like people's like a lot of people have cut off even being friendly this year and it's been uh it's been interesting but that is kind of one of the reasons I'm leaving this school is because of the toxic people and they're all fake so anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, that took a turn, but sometimes it's good to just do a planner voiceover and like rant a little, talk to you, planner people, and it's good. It's good to have friends in lots of places, um, but I have been loving the square boxes lately, and I love that they are the same size. We're just jumping right back into planning stuff here quite the segue. Um, I was just looking at my planner spread, but I do like that they are the same size. So then I was able to kind of pull in boxes for Tuesday and Friday since with color, um, color blocking, I didn't have enough of those bigger half boxes. So I had to bring in the square boxes, but I decided not to do bougie and I'm glad just let the spread breathe a little 
um, since I did so much foil other places. And that's probably what took me so long for this base now that I'm thinking about it. Um, but I did add these really cute backpacks from Paper and Milk. They are so adorable. They're the perfect size for that bigger box and the colors match pretty spot on except for the green, but that's okay. And um, yeah, they're brand new. I debated on ordering them, but I'm so glad that I did. They're really cute. And I'm just like, fingers crossed that Paper and Milk will reopen. I know she's moving to New York and I saw she just got engaged. Um, so like I said, I really hope she reopens, but I have this like a sad worried that she's gonna not reopen um or it'll take like a very long time but that's okay everybody's gonna live their best life so here's me marking my staff meeting about telling my staff and that was also kind of funny because we've been doing staff meetings virtually still and so I had to just like and but nobody turns on their cameras because that's how unfriendly my staff is and so I just awkwardly like turn on my camera said my news turn off my camera and then I just like watch the chat section as like some people said some nice things and whatever blah 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 but it was just like awkward you don't get that like in person like reaction so all part of the funniness of this year I guess the sidebar I really struggled with, and you'll see at the end, I changed it up even more, but yeah, I was thinking that I was only using purple one day a week, but purples, I was using it twice, it's blue, that I was only using one day a week, so I had to re rearrange some boxes. But I think I'm going to save my voice for the rest, I just have a little bit longer, and I'm just going to put music over it, I'm so sorry, but thanks for bearing with me, and I'll catch you at the end when I talk through my final results. Here is how the spread turned out. I absolutely love it. I did kind of go ham on the foil with the bottom washi and the overlays and like the two quotes. So I didn't put any bougie boxes and I feel like that kind of helped balance it out in my personal opinion. Love the color blocking. This kit was so cute and I did love the little like fashion girl that I added in and that box. I feel like it just like it re went really well with it. Um, this week was a really, really rough week at work. Um, just school, it felt like we were at day one with the kids. And then I did tell my staff about my change for next year. And that came with like some bittersweet reactions. So that was just, you know, like lots of anxiety and just lots of people making really weird comments. So that's always fun. Um, but we ended the week with the Lorax movie to watch for Earth Day, which was really cute and fun. And then I started feeling sick. I have never used this whimsical cat girl that I got like f three, four years ago. And here we are. Um, you could probably hear it in my voice. I'm so sorry I debated filming this, but you know, just gonna go with it. So overall, that was kind of my rough week. At least it looked pretty and yeah, so don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you in my next video and hopefully I will sound a bit better. Thank you. Bye.